good morning students have a nice day you are watching ed star international school video lecture welcome to the session kids and this you are going to see class 5 english grammar lesson 10 simple tenses part 1 kids we start this session with today's words the words are sagacious seldom and scrutinize sagacious means wise and intelligent you heard about stories like birbal and tenali raman right they are famous for his wisdom and seldom means not often uh, means occasionally or rarely we will do things or we will visit the place and scrutinize means examine carefully if if uh, consider 100 people attend the interview for 10 posts they will scrutinize them to select means they will examine carefully uh, small each and everything they will observe and they will select so scrutinize means examine carefully kids in our daily life how we will say things which was finished happening and going to happen we have to tell in proper way right so that only we are using tenses kids what is tenses tenses are the form taken by a verb to show the time of an action the three tenses are present past and the future the word tense is derived from the latin word tempus means time so here the tense denotes the action that is taken in time the time may be that happened in the past present and the future okay so the three types of tenses are past present and the future it's the tenses are of 12 types see this chart in this yellow color column denotes the three tenses past present and the future and uh, the row which was in light color denotes the forms of the tenses if we cross multiply for your uh, easy remembrance i will say if we cross multiply each highlighted column and each uh, highlighted row you can get the 12 forms of tenses they are the 12 forms are simple past present and future past continuous tense present continuous tense and future continuous tense past perfect tense present perfect tense and future perfect tense past perfect continuous present perfect continuous and future perfect continuous so we will here in this we will see about simple tenses in this session in that we will see about simple present tense before we see the simple present tense we will see the verb forms the verb forms are v1 v2 and v3 what is v1 v2 and v3 v1 is the first form of verb means base form it is used for present tense example do sit write etc and v2 is the second form of verb uh, it is used for simple past example did sat throat like that and v3 is the third form past participle form for regular verbs it ends with ed and for irregular verbs it won't end with ed it takes it ends with e and or like that okay and here you can see the example uh, for the all the three forms the same word will come like for example cut 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 put 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 like that and in the b form of the verbs you know am is was are were right in this is is used to for present form and was is used for past form and likewise are is used to for plural form of first person first form and uh, past form is were and uh, three different words they use you know, for all like uh, sell sold sold fall fell fallen these are irregular verbs and eat ate eat and these are irregular verbs it won't end with ed and uh, regular verbs are color colored colored call called called these are regular verbs and it ends with ed so here uh, the you can see 
what is a regular verb and an irregular verb and for uh, all the forms v1 v2 and v3 v1 is for present form v2 is for past form and v3 is for past participle form okay keep it in mind okay it's the simple present tense simple present tense is nothing but when we use a verb to tell about things that happen in the present like every day every week every month like that on daily basis and the simple present tense is used for anything that happens often it says the general truth also have uh, examples for simple present tense are i am 19 years old he lives in london i am a student so these are the things which is happening in the present okay it is not finished or it's not going to start it happens now so we are using the present form kids here we will see the simple present tense structure okay for example subject plus first form of verb plus object first form of verb means uh, v1 form of verb so here for example i like coffee here i is the subject first form of the verb base form of the verb is like and uh, coffee is the object okay so i like coffee and for negative subject subject plus do not or does not plus first form of the verb v1 form plus object i don't like coffee what i don't like coffee he doesn't like coffee so here i i is the subject don't do not uh, plus first form like plus co object coffee okay and for interrogative sentence we use wh words or do or does plus subject plus first form of the verb plus object do you like coffee what do you like coffee like that is it clear students for simple present tense the rule is subject plus v1 plus s or es plus object v1 is the base form of verb and uh, second one is subject plus verb 1 plus object v1 means uh, base form of the verb plus object for example for singular subject child plays and for plural subject children play see where we have add yes for singular subject we added yes okay and for plural subject we uh, didn't add yes okay children play okay is it clear kids we will see where to add yes and es to the root verb in the present tense you know the third person singular right he she and it to that verb form or root word we add s r e s verbs ending in c h s s h x or z we add e s example watch watches as we did in singular and plural right and verbs ending in consonant means ends with y if we change y to i and then add e s for example try tries see in this picture for subject like he she eat we add s or e s he likes eating fish she likes eating fish it likes eating fish and for us um, and for subjects like i u v they we use only the base form of the verb i like playing football you like playing football like that we won't add s or e s okay keep this in mind kids now we will see how to use be form do form and have form of the verb in the simple present tense be form of the verb is am is are was and were in this am is are are used to for present form and am and is are used to for present form singular present tense singular and are is used to for present tense plural okay and do form do does did do and does are used for present form have has had 
in this have is used for plural form of the verb okay and has is used for singular and have and has both are used for present form with see here with i am is in the be form am is used and in the do form do is used and in the have form have is used you would have, you can have ask a doubt here i is a singular but how it is using have the plural form of verb so here is an exception for i for i we will use uh, have only we won't use has okay and here you are is used are is used for in the be form do is used in the be form and have is used in the have form okay and for third person singular he she it uh, for singular is is used in the be form of the verb and does is used in the be do form of the verb and has what we use in the have form has he has she has it has we won't use have we'll use has and for a plural form plural form we you they we used are in the present form okay and we use do in the present form and we will use have we have you have they have in the present form is it clear students it's we will see the examples now okay for positive negative and yes or no type questions for positive for i you we they we use i read books you read books like that and for he she it we uh, we say he reads books she reads books like that and for negative sentence for i you we they we use don't and for he she it we use doesn't i don't read the newspaper you don't read the newspaper he doesn't read the newspaper like that and for yes or no type questions for i you we they we use do and for he she it we use does okay i read magazine yes i do uh, no i don't in the negative form i don't in the negative form and for does he she it he read news magazines yes he does no he doesn't doesn't in the negative form does in the positive form kids now we will see where we use the simple present tense the simple present tense are used in to express our thoughts and feelings at the present moments and to the immediate reaction if something they are saying means for that you will act right for that immediate reaction also we will use a simple present tense consider if our head is aching now how you will express how in which tense you will express you will express it in simple tense so here my head pains okay so it is a simple present tense some other uh, usages are also there we will see one by one okay the things which we cannot change and it is a truth for that you use the simple present tense to express that we use simple present tense for example the universal truth facts for everything we use simple present tense to say for example the sun rises in the east the sun sets in the west that we can't change right we can't change the direction it is a fact so for to express that we use simple present tense and also some other general truths or fact you know water boils at 100 degree celsius isn't it so that also we can't change the earth revolves around the sun that also we you can't change isn't it so for that we express the general truths and facts we use simple present tense okay kids can you name some of your uh, regular actions which you do daily you take bath brush uh, break eat breakfast isn't it 
to express these regular or habitual actions we use simple present tense what you will use simple present tense she eats breakfast in the morning she goes to school by bus is these are the ex daily actions which we uh, which she carries okay so for to express that we use simple present tense so she eats breakfast in the morning he goes uh, school by bus okay kids to express the reviews of books play and film we use the simple present tense what we will use simple present tense review is nothing but we will share our experience or we will share our idea about that book or comments okay so see the example in the film she plays the character of noorjahan you are telling some someone you are sharing your idea to someone that in that uh, movie she plays the character of noorjahan to express that you use uh, simple present tense here the plays it denotes the simple present tense okay everybody likes cricket and football right so in cricket you are expecting the ipl now isn't it yeah so in that they used to give commentaries right you heard about you heard the commentaries yeah they used to say commentaries for that also uh, the simple present tenses he used for example he hits the ball and the ball goes to sixer and and uh, he the football rolls towards the goal post like that and all commentaries they used to give no that and all uh, we say in simple present tense kids to report an action reporting an action and an action which is planned for future near future for everything we use simple present tense for example tom cleans the car he only will clean so he will say tom cleans the car and planned future action means that is going to happen in the near future upcoming future so the train leaves tonight at 10 pm uh, that you can't say it in future tense so we can say it in the simple present tense and for imperative sentences imperative sentences like sentences which gives uh, order a uh, wish everything isn't it so for that also we use a simple present tense example measure the length of the ground okay so for reporting an action planned future action and imperative sentence so for all that we use simple present tense plan future action one more example means we will if you planned that to picnic for uh, for the next day so for that to express that you can say in, in the simple present tense okay kids we will see some more usage of simple present tense okay here we will use in instantaneous actions for example uh, action that takes place immediately or in commentaries and all i told right for that you use simple present tense for regular habits you use simple present tense for newspaper headlines uh, with future construction means for planned things uh, which planned for future isn't it for that and uh, and uh, with non progressive actions and when telling stories stories means we use a simple present tense for giving directions and instruction for example first of all break the eggs and whisk the sugar like that in recipe and all if you are doing someone is giving instruction means they used to give in a simple present tense for schedule programs or arranged future me i told no action that we are planned for future or scheduled for that and for formal conversation in ceremonial or formal conversation we use uh, simple present tense for instantaneous situation for news line headings with non progressive actions when telling stories for formal conversation habit regular habits future constructions to general truths or scientific facts for giving direction and instruction for schedule programs or arranged action 
for all we will use simple what we will use simple present tense kids here are some indicators to indicate that the sentence is simple present tense the indicators are always whenever every day usually often frequently sometimes rarely occasionally never if you see the words present in a sentence you can clearly say that is the simple present tense okay kids eat plenty of vegetables drink vitamin c rich source fruit juices stay home stay safe thank you kids